G'day, welcome to the Simple Cooking channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make salt and vinegar seasoning. So, so awesome to add to so many things like popcorn, chips, whatever you want to add salt and vinegar to. So let's go. Simple cooking, simple cooking. Now for this you need a large saucepan. You can always start this in a tall jug because this is going to froth and bubble everywhere. So you get half a cup of baking soda or bicarb soda. Now you want two liters of white vinegar. Just pour it in slowly or pour in about one liter, stirring and then keep adding it until this is no longer bubbling and frothing. Now this is gonna go pretty crazy. Oh, no! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, that was lucky. Now just wait for it to stop bubbling, frothing, and doing its thing. Then we're going to turn the heat up to high. And we basically want to cook this. And just stir every now and then. Now as this does its thing, you're going to get some bits of white powder and stuff around here. Scrape that down into the mixture. As you can see, it's getting nice and hot. It's starting to bubble. It's starting to boil. It's two liters. Reduce this until it gets to about 200 mils, one tenth of the size. And you know, you're gonna get this on the side like powder. That's what we want. And just get that powder and scrape it down back into it. Well, it's getting there, it's close. And see the powder on the side? So just do that and get the powder back into it. All right, this is almost done. Now, what's happening? Now, this is almost done. It's getting pretty close. Now, it doesn't always have to be exactly 200 mils. I mean, it's a guess for me. Um, it doesn't matter if it's 220 or if it's 290, 180. As long as it's not a liter, you're pretty sweet. So turn your oven on to 200 degrees Celsius, which is 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Get a baking tray or a baking pan, something that you can put in the oven. And you want to pour this straight into it. Pour it into a baking tray. You can do it in stages. I'm just putting half of it in. Now pop that in the oven. Now how long? It just depends. We want this to turn white and crumbly and all the rest of it. Then it's done. And there you go. Perfect. Now just leave it in here to cool just a little bit, maybe for about 20 or 30 minutes. Then we will scrape some of it off and grind it down and add a little salt to it. <laughs> now get one of these doobie whackers that you can grind with. Get some of the, well, get as much as you want of it. And we want to grind it into fine powder. Now if you want to add salt now, do it. It's up to you how much. A tablespoon or so. Well, I'll have you like this. Oh yeah. Hmm. I'll try it. Yeah, you don't want to try this either. Yummy, it's just oh, you want to add it to stuff, not actually shove a whole bit in your mouth. You want to see it? Yeah. I'll see you next time for my next meal. <laughs>